guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a tutorial on this pink neon graphic liner look that you guys loved and went crazy for on twitter so i thought it would be cool if i did a tutorial on it um i was super surprised on how big this look got like shook girl my wig flew across the states okay it flew so yeah if you guys do try it out please don't forget to tag me on twitter and instagram i would love to see your recreations so yeah if you guys want to know how i got this look keep on watching okay so i'm going to be starting off today by priming my eyelids and we're going to be using the Too faced shadow insurance today um because my other primer the urban decay one is like a little drying and i don't have time for that so i'm going to use this one because it's like a little bit you know like liquidy a little but like you know so i'm just going to take a little bit of that and prime my eyes don't let it go let it go don't let it slip away okay so to get your eyeshadow the most pigmented if you like have a darker skin tone or just in general you want your colors to pop more you really want to set your eyeshadow primer with a white eyeshadow that's what helps me the most so i'm going to take my morphe 35b palette or morph morphe whatever you pronounce it as and i'm going to take this white eyeshadow right here and i'm going to use that to set my primer in place and yeah yeah so we're going to be using the morphe 35b palette again and i'm going to be taking this hot oh girl i'm going to be taking this hot pink shade right here and we're going to be popping that into our crease <laughs> And I'm going to take um, this deeper pink shade right here. It's a little bit of like a magenta color. And I'm going to take this Morphe 139 brush and I'm going to pop that into my crease to deepen it up. You should go and take a chance with her. She could be everything you wanted, everything you wanted, boy. Don't let that get away. Now I'm going to do the same thing that I did on my eyelid to my lower lash line. I'm going to add a black eyeshadow so that it can just deepen it up a little bit and give it some definition. Okay, so now that the base of the eyeshadow is done I'm gonna zoom you guys in so we can get into the neon part so for this part I'm gonna be using a royal Taclon I think these are like royal lenticle um, art brushes these are like for painting but I'm gonna be using this today to paint my face so we can get some nice precision um, I'll just link them down below so you guys can find the like brushes that I use but I got these at Walmart and then I'm going to be taking a concealer and I prefer to use a concealer that is um not too creamy because it's going to be like getting everywhere and it's just going to be kind of like a hassle to use so I like to use this L'Oreal True Match concealer I've had it forever and it's literally one of my favorite concealers so I'm going to be using this today and I'm using a really light color. This is like the lightest color. This is fair. And I'm using this because it's going to be like an, a white liner in a way. So let's do this. So I'm going to take this brush and you're just going to look in the mirror or any mirror that you're looking at. And you're just going to see where your crease is. I have hooded eyelids as you guys all know. So I want to make sure that I draw this line above my crease or my fold 
So as you can see, the fold is right here. So you're just going to draw the line right above that. Just as if you would do like a cut crease look, you know. So I'm just going to take some of that white. And we're just going to draw a line right across the eyelid. Um, right across the crease. And it's not going to go straight. Obviously it's going to go around like as if you were going to do like a cut crease. So let's do this. So tonight you should go and take a chance where she could be everything you want. stop right here because this is where we're gonna do the our design so the design for this neon look was like a heartbeat so I did like two triangles right here and then a line and then a heart um so we're just gonna make that design with the same brush and the same concealer um you can take your time on this part because I like to perfect my stuff to make it look really good so yeah just take your time don't worry if you mess up you can just start all over i know it's gonna be a little frustrating at first but you'll get it I promise you're gonna get it. so let's do it <laughs> Now it's time to outline the shape, I mean to outline the drawing that we did um, to make it look neon and give that neon effect. So we're going to take um, a pink eyeshadow. I'm going to use that same hot pink we used in our crease to um, create that illusion of a neon look. So I'm just going to outline the bottom. It's going to look a little weird at first because you really have to just like I don't know make it work because you can't really like see the pink at first because it's layering on top of like a dark purple pink on your lid but once it's all like blended it looks more neon so just just watch me watch me work okay <laughs> Okay, so the outlining of the um, art that we've done is now finished. Now I'm just going back in with some concealer just to make the heart a little bit more perfected and just to like brighten up these lines. Oh, my dream.
Okay, now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take a ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Girly. And it's like a, um, what is it called? An iridescent pink type of shade. It's really pretty. So I oh. Now I'm going to be applying some short individual lashes onto my lower lash line to give this look a little bit of a pop with our lashes because I don't really feel like applying mascara and I really like the look of like little short falsies. get your life so now I'm gonna zoom you guys out so we can move on to the face so um I've already have like my foundation and everything on um now I'm gonna apply some blush and some highlighter I wanted to wear blush for this look because um it is like super pink and like just really cute so I feel like blush goes really well with this look so I'm just going to take I don't even know what brush I want to use. Honestly, I'm just going to use this Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm actually not even going to take an actual blush. I'm going to take an eyeshadow. I'm going to take the Suva Beauty Hookah shadow. Um, the one we used on our eyes. And then I'm going to take this shadow called Bloody Mary. Which is like a bright red. And I'm just going to mix the two. Because the Bloody Mary is like too bright. But then hookah is like a good shade for it and I'm just gonna put a little bit like a little bit and I'm gonna blend it into my contour it's just like super cute like that Not too much. And I'm like putting bricks on. I'm just gonna like put some on my nose, okay. Okay, now for highlighter, my Sonia Keshuk um glow bronzer, and I'm gonna put my Anastasia glow kit on top. So let's do that. Okay, so now it's time for lips and this is like my most, one of my most asked questions is like what products I use and then how to get my lips popping and I'm going to show you guys. I basically just overline my lips and then I apply the lip gloss straight on top of the lip liner and I don't apply the lip liner all over my lips so I'll just show you guys what I do. So yeah guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because you know, hello, why not subscribe like I'm here? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'll be linking all the products and the brushes that I'm 
that I use in this video down below. And you can follow me at Makeup by Shania on Instagram and Twitter. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.